Despite being in France, I even powered up the radio. La modeste promise, et toi. James, meanwhile, wasn't even enjoying the excellent music on the local radio station. I wasn't expecting to hear that. On tonight's programme. <laughs> This is the bit you never hear. Predicting the traffic would wind me up, the Top Gear office had provided me with a calming New Age CD. The 100 Best Whale Songs. BMW 325i and this, almost identical. Banging stereo. Really? Seriously. You want to hear it? Not really. I expect it's gone. Anyway, I'm sure that won't become annoying at all. To take our minds off the power problems, I found some music. Belinda Carlisle. Sadly, though, James doesn't like Belinda Carlisle. Off. James, 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 we aren't allowed to drive down this street. BBC Radio T's. Oh, the car. <laughs> Come on. We really do need these radio reports. Let me range over in the back of the shop again. I gather you're up here uh, with the guys from Top Gear. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, uh, they're called James and Jamie. Here we go. Uh, they're alongside me and Top Gear. And yeah, I mean. Actually, we couldn't move on because we were stuck in a big traffic jam. This is BBC Southern Counties Radio. This, this is what we've got to do, OK? Radio. Long may you reign. This is us. But we're still looking for somebody who shares their birthday with the Queen, OK? So if you know somebody, if it's Social you, if it's your mum, stuff, friend, relevant to your granddad, listeners, granddad, local... friend across the road, somebody good. What? We'll manage. All right, fine. Well, you just make it up when they say... How hard can it be, you. anyway? As you can see, I've done absolutely nothing to the outside of my car, and that's because I've spent my whole 300 quid on exactly what a 17-year-old wants. A banging stereo for me tunes. <laughs> Sadly, our destination was 60 miles away. Telephone to ring any minute with James saying, Have you got my remote control for the stereo? And the answer to that is yes. <laughs> what I like to do is play music loud. It scares the hell out of it. It's Robin Duval, mate! I'm going to try something the Americans call pitting. I put my car along his rear wing, push his back end out, he counter steers, I then brake. And of course, it shoots the other way. Unfortunately, none of what I just said happened. The first stop on my publicity tour was Radio Tease. Who cares about the weather because it's the weekend? Who cares when Top Gear is in town and Richard Flippin' Hammond is with us? Yes! Here comes the publicity. <laughs> Welcome to Teesside. You, of course used to work here and everything like that many, many years ago. Why are you here? Well, it's, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, I did used to work here, apparently. I, I worked in a lot of radio stations for not very long. What are you doing? Not always the best reasons. So, yes, I worked here when... Talk about the exhibition! And um, I, I have fond memories 
of working here. Nobody's interested in your bloody memories! Because I started in Radio York mm. in 1989. Oh, for crying out loud! For the rest of the interview, Hammond brilliantly publicised himself. I've just tried, started something called Blast Up, a kid science show. Oh, for God's sake, this is ridiculous. With James's car out of the ditch, we relaxed by tuning in to Radio Peugeot. Jeremy Vancho, BBC Radio 2. Is Britain full is how we started this. Alison in Warfield in Berkshire, Texas, says, I can't park at Waitrose. So, yes, we are too full. Good caller. Despite the soothing tones of Radio now, Peugeot... Do you think you may have the worst tasting water in Britain? Do call us if so, 0500 288 291. We found the journey very stressful. But there was a problem. It's not going to snow, is it? With crossed fingers, we tuned into the weather forecast. Good afternoon. We're going to see a change in our weather later on this week. Temperatures really starting to climb, things heading much milder. We've had a fair bit of cloud around already. Today. Good evening. Well, the good news is there's absolutely no sign of the cold air returning in the near future. It's a very mild outlook. The reason we've got all this warm air, it's pumping up from the tropics. What is he? Oh, all right. It's, 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 it's a rub it in, does he? He sounds all gleeful about it. Mm. I've even got a functioning radio. Although there's only one station it'll pick up, which is gospel. Ready? My God, it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Yes, I agree with you. Temperatures are a big deal. We're well into the 90s and even 100s. The mono radio station, however, was the tip of an iceberg. One radio speaker remains, however, and it's good. The good news is that with God's help, we can stop global warming. In a world where tails stop wagging, sticks don't get fetched, and chew toys stay dry, one man dares to step forward and declare, I can get to the root of your dog's depression. Potatoes, tomatoes, it's a lot to know. I can see that. So let me ask you, how high should a pineapple bounce when it's ripe? Radio. Crowded house, nice, local band. Now let's just try another radio station. Radio three. Happily, the radio uses such a small amount of power that it can use that, but surveys have shown that fast, aggressive music causes drivers to grow lead feet. So, crash metal doesn't just hurt your ears, it uh, damages your wallet as well. On this journey then, it'll be Radio 2 all the way. So, was that a hit again in the 90s in 95, 97 or 99? 97. I don't know, I'll go for 94. No, I was 97. You see? Bad luck. Sad cafe. But, crucially, it's not so noisy that I can't hear Ken Bruce's Popmaster. Can you give me the titles of three UK single chart hits for Squeeze? Three Call for Cats, Labelled with Love, Up the yep. Junction. Come on, useless man. Easy. What I really do want is a radio. Robbie Williams played through a 1980s Volvo stereo. I'd listen to Radio 3. Places where we go. All the arches on 4. Thoughts running through my head. Oh, I wish I had a radio. Protection. That's the worst stereo I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I wish I had a radio. But it's a stereo. And Hammond doesn't have one. Riding along in my autumn. My baby beside me. Ferrari. As I bore down on Middlesbrough, Hammond's publicity tour was going from bad to worse. Yes, I did. I started in 1989 at uh, Radio York. Um, 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think Total Wiper has been a, a, a tremendous success. I'm going to have a heart attack! There's a moment when people have to climb a platform and in front of them are four massive red inflatable balls and they have to... Total Wiper is just idiots falling over! Talk about our heart exhibition! Sorry, I've got to get out of here. Since Hammond wouldn't play, I tuned into the only station that my radio could receive. Lightweight heifers out of Darwin heading to Indonesia are now fetching up to $2.25 a kilo. Feeder steers heading to Indonesia up to $2.45 a kilo. Why don't you play Steely Dan? And then it was back to business as usual. C2 heifers sold from 160 to 176. Lightweight C3 heifers lifted four. They sell from 160 to 190. And heavyweight heifers returned up to 204 cents. C2 yearling steers defeated. Advertising. Advertising what? Well, yourself, mate. We've really, I've, you need to work on your presentation. You look like crap. How do I turn it off? The instructions are all on the screen. Mate, it's a brilliant icebreaker. The self-improvement began. Hello and welcome to Teach Yourself Ukrainian. Unit 1. Hello, what's your name? Taras again invites Stephen to his home to discuss some business questions. Привет, Стивене. Привет, Стивене. Then there was the radio, which could only receive frequencies ending in an odd number. Happily, though, the office have provided me with a talking book to keep me amused on the long journey. He brings his hand up to grasp my chin and holds me in place. He wants me, and I want him. He sits down on the edge of the bed. Did you undress me? I whisper. Yes. Who preceded Alex Ferguson as manager of Manchester United? Kenny Dalgley. Was it Ron Atkinson? He's a local builder. Did he play Mr. Bean? Perhaps I imagined it all. No. I touched my lips, swollen from his kiss. It definitely happened. In 1969, the year I was born, which legend scored what was claimed as his 1,000th goal? George Best. Peel. Pele. The miles rolled by in a relentless blizzard of fuel stops and sadomasochism. Before I know it, he's got both of my hands and one of his in a vice-like grip above my head. With the oiled plough scything nicely through the snow, Jeremy and I swung into action. Burn, baby, burn this That's grit. Oh, yeah. The grit is going well, Hammond. Oh, take some. <laughs> 
<laughs> Naturally, we soon encountered heavy traffic, but we were ready for that. Engaging siren. Come on, go! Do not see I'm an ambulance. Yeah, staying alive, it's, it's reassuring for the patient that it doesn't really say siren to other road users. Get out of the way, normal ambulance! Come on! 